Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of High School Romance, where we guide a a young man through a very awkward and uncomfortable situation for him, which he gradually gradually learns to accept and open his horizons, widen his horizons. Even. My infiltration at the school has been a success. My state-of-the-art disguise has been flawless. No one suspects me or my mission. If only it was quite that dramatic. By now, a lot of excitement and chaos surrounding my situation has worn off. Oh, he's already getting emotionally... emotionally uh, dulled to the whole thing. I get up, I go to class, I study a typical student schedule. A schedule that I'm glad includes lunch. Now that the year has really started up, Hoshi has more responsibilities as the class rep. It hasn't pushed us apart, though. We still eat lunch together. And as always, Hoshi works ever even while eating it. Dot dot dot. Hoshi? Is something wrong? Dot dot dot. Um, Hoshi? Hmm? What? You're awfully quiet today, and you look like you're trying to set that paper on fire with your eyes. Oh, no, I apologize. I'm just... What are you working on? Wait, don't cover it up. Why is she worried? I see it. I see it. Oh, she's drawing fanfic. Isn't that homework? Well, yes. Are you worried I'd cheat off you? No, that's not the issue at all. It's dot dot dot. Well, it's the grammar page we had to do. Oh, wasn't that a nightmare? But I thought you'd already finished it. Dot dot dot. Can I tell you something in confidence, Shoji? Uh oh, she sounds really serious. Um, are you in some kind of trouble? No, not exactly. It's just dot dot dot. Well, it's not exactly easy to convey dot dot dot. I always thought she'd do great at grammar with the way she talks. Well, you can tell me anything, you know that. Well, dot dot dot, I did finish the assignment. In fact, I got through it while we were still in class, dot dot dot. This one here isn't mine. Wait, I don't get it. If it's not yours, then whose is it? It belongs to someone else in our class. I won't say who, that wouldn't be right of me, but... Go on. As class representative, I'm tasked with encouraging our class to beat the opposition. That includes making sure we have the means to do so. When a student's grade starts to slip, they usually get referred to me for tutoring. For torturing. It makes sense. If they continue to fail, they bring down the GPA of the entire class. That isn't fair to everyone else who actually works hard to succeed. And I try, the, I try to tutor those who are struggling. I really do, but most of the time it just ends up... They push it off on you. I can barely see the knot, but I know it's there. It's not that it's difficult. I can do this work easily enough. I could even make it sound like another student did it. As long as they're motivated enough to copy it over in their handwriting, it's not likely to be noticed. What really bothers me is just... the dishonesty of it. Yes. Do you think it's wrong of me? Wrong of her? It's wrong of the idiot making it do this. Of course not! You're not dishonest, you just care too much. Oh, I never thought of it that way. But you shouldn't let your desire to succeed go too far. Why did you become a class rep in the first place? For everyone to succeed or to help everyone? I don't think you, should, you would spend so much time on it if it was just propping everyone else up. You're right. I lost sight of my goals. Succeeding from my effort alone means I'm failing at my job. Wow, these are some very deep insights. This is... This is getting rather philosophical for a lunch discussion. I want them to thank me for helping them pass, not for doing their work. I just wish doing it the right way wasn't so time-consuming. It's preventing me from studying for the things I'm weak in. No wonder she's always so busy. Why don't we study together on the weekend? In the meantime, we can make sure whichever girl told you to do this knows it's a one-time thing. Or that the next time she messes up, you'll turn the rest of the class on her by letting everyone know she's failing. Isn't that cruel? It's honest. 
I think you're right. And it would probably motivate her. She must be popular then. Ah, oh, please don't try to uh, try to figure out who it is. I doubt you know her, but I don't want to start any drama. Thank you for the advice, Choji. It's relieving to have someone to talk to about this. I know that feeling of keeping a secret bottled up. Ah, we should probably hurry. It's almost time to go. I finished this up during study hall. Alright. Now the classes have started in earnest, we have upcoming tests to worry about. Luckily, Hoshi and I make a pretty formidable studying pair. It keeps me in on the weekends sometimes, but it's different from spending the weekend alone. My eyes are going to bleed if I have to read another line of this. Hmm, it's not sinking in anymore for me either. Do you wear makeup, Shoji? What, what does that have to do with what we're studying? It doesn't, it just crossed my mind. No. Ah, I didn't think so. You're lucky to have a complexion nice enough to not need makeup. Do you choose not to, or did your mother never teach you? Um, a little of both, I guess? Here, then. What did you just pull out of a bag? What is all this stuff? Do you want to try? It'll be fun, and a nice break from staring at a textbook. Skirts, bras, no makeup? I never thought it would come to this! I thought I finally had everything covered. But I can't think of a good enough reason to turn her down. Um, okay. Why me? Why? Why in the seven hells? Hold still. What is this stuff? What is she putting on my face? Ah, oh, that's my eye. Be careful. That tastes awful. Aren't there fish scales or something in this? <coughs> Where did this cloud of smoke come from? Have mercury. And done. My masterpiece is complete. I think I'm afraid to look. Aren't you curious? Come over to the mirror. To the mirror. W whoa, is that me? I look so different. Now this is convincing. How did she manage to do this? Do you like it? I, uh, ah! It is a little much, isn't it? It might be nice. It might be a nice look to go out in now, now and then. But I don't prefer your natural look. R really? Don't most girls wear makeup? Marker oop. Ah, oh, crap! I worded that a little weirdly. Well, yes, but it's just as good when you can get away with no makeup. So, don't feel pressured to wear it. I like to think of it more as a fun hobby. But you do look very cute. I should take a picture. Yes, you should. You should definitely take a picture and share it with the entire world. Like us. Let's not. Even if I look nice like a girl, I don't really want to document it. Too bad I didn't bring my phone. We should probably get back to studying. Are you going to leave a makeup on? She did work pretty hard on it. Um, sure. I don't see why not. Alright! Pass me the textbook, please! That was, really, well, that was a really long study session. We did get sidetracked a little, but that's alright. It was fun and occasionally distressing. I was having a huge raging boner! Actually, yeah, why isn't he having that kind of trouble? I'm so tired from the week and everything that everything that's been going on, but I could probably just curl up and sleep right now. That's weird. I'm not expecting anyone. Was there a knock? I didn't hear a knock. Oh, hey! Why is she looking at me like that? Oh crap! The makeup. I totally forgot I was wearing it. I, I can't explain. Well, no. Oh god! I need to come up. I haven't, I haven't spoken her lines in a while. I need to come up with a voice for her now. Um, well, don't you look cute? What's with a new look? Am I interrupting something? What? No, I was just um, no reason really. Well, whatever it is about, you look super adorable. Girl clothes, makeup. You've really surprised me in the last couple weeks. Maybe I judged you as tomboyish a little too early. Hmm. 
Anyway, I just stopped to ask if you had free time next week. I thought we could hang out some. Oh, sure. Great! Maybe Monday after classes? I'll swing by here, if you swing by my way. Giggity. Alright, that sounds great. Okay, see you then. Bye, cutie! I wonder what Selena has to talk. It's, seriously, again, again with the transitions. It was like... He didn't even have something to comment on after that. And now, suddenly, it's Monday? <sighs> it was that fucking clock without the clock hands. That enrages me. It's so dysfunctional. Anyway. I wonder what Selena has to talk to me about. She hasn't mentioned anything yet during gym. Granted, we've been running, so there hasn't been much time to talk. You're getting even better at this. You were ahead of me for a little bit there. Too bad you couldn't pull through to the end. Because your stamina is literally insane. I'll take that as a compliment. Anyway, I'll take you to... I'll talk to you later today, right? Right, I'll be at my dorm. See you there! Tee hee! How can she still be running off? Ah, uh, she's gonna, she's, she's gonna be a wild cat in the sack, I guess. With all that stamina and those two big plush pillows. Hey, Choji! Thanks for meeting up with me. Y you're already here. Where did you think I was going? We said we were going to meet up here. Tee. <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of feel like doing that every time she, she says something. I guess friends just let themselves in. I know we agreed to meet up, but still, I'll have to be extra careful about that. I was just surprised, so what did you want to talk about again? I kind of already prepped for you for this, so I hope you warmed up to the idea. If not, I'm going to have to come up with another speech or maybe just grope you enough to convince you. Grope me? After school on Wednesday, Miss Rowan's holding track tryouts for this year. I wanted you to come. Really? If she wanted me to try out, wouldn't she have said something about it? At this point, I don't think she really has to. It's pretty obvious that you're talented enough to make it. The only reason you have to try out is to be fair to the other girls. So why wouldn't you try out? By the way, I'm, I'm not actually really changing my voice for her. I'm just talking with a big fat ass smile on my face. It's working out. I did want to get involved in clubs and activities. This might actually be a good opportunity. And I'll get to spend some more time with Selena. I think some people would be jealous if someone threatened them at being the best. Selena just seems to like the competition, even if it ends up beating her. Granted, I haven't actually won a race against her yet, so I don't know. All right, count me in. I'll give it my best. Ah, you're so serious. You're going to, you're going to get in, silly. Some of the girls you run past in gym all the time are also part of a track team. So don't pull a tortoise and, and the hair, but you don't need to worry about much about it. I'm glad you're a part of a team. Tryouts are in the sports field after class. We won't have to run Wednesday during gym either, so we can be at our best. I think it'll be good for you. I'll see you there. W what? There's so many girls here. It's almost as if it, and, uh, as if there was an entire school just with girls. Oh, I guess even underclass men try out for the team. I didn't even think about that. Is track really so popular, or are there just not a lot of other clubs here? Selena sounded so confident about my getting in, but now I'm not sh so sure. Shoji, over here! You made it? R you made it! Ready? I guess so. Don't look so nervous, there's nothing to it. Just run like your life depends on it, because it will. I'll be standing behind you with a knife and threatening to cut off those cute little balls of yours. Like you're ri- like you're ri- <sighs> Like you're trying to catch the ice cream truck, or being chased by a serial killer with a hockey mask. 
<laughs> that is just a random example. Seriously, it's just random. Or, like all the girls behind you want to rip off your clothes. What made you think of that example? You're right. That last one wouldn't be so terrible. That's not what I meant. Come on. We've got to go line up. Alright, I can do this. There's nothing to it. I do it every other day in gym class. Ready, set. Ah, uh, this is so much tighter than usual. Some of the underclassmen really are quick. Ha, huh, finally. Most of them have fallen behind. There's one just on my heels, though. Don't like the look, the look she's been giving me. And of course, of course E is Selena's invalid. Why is there a capital E just... I don't know. Whoa, whoa, she just tripped. Stop and help, finish race. Stop and help. Selena, are you hurt? What are you doing? Getting you back up, now are you hurt? No, I'm fine, why did you stop? Come on then, we've got to get up. You're crazy, you know that? Complain about it later, let's go. Wait, is she actually complaining because I stopped to help her? Girls are so confusing. Oh well, we have bigger things to worry about right now. We can still stay ahead of this. If we can just get moving again. There's the girl who was giving me that look. Come on, I'm not letting her be the one who beats us. What? She just took off. I can't hope to catch up with that. But I am gaining on the girl. She must be wearing out. Will Miss Rowan count that fall? Will Miss Rowan count that fall against Selena? She was far enough ahead to actually trip, get back up, and still retake the lead. Surely she'll be okay. And so will I. Now that I've passed Evil Eye Girl. Ha! I feel like someone threw a match into my lungs. I had to practically fall over to the finish line, but I made it. Second place, right behind Selena. S Selena, are you okay? You're bleeding. Just a scrape, Palm. I've had worse wipeouts, believe me. You better believe it, Databayo. But I really wasn't expecting you to come back for me. Why not? We're trying out to be part of a track team, right? Team members don't just leave each other behind. I guess that's true. Maybe I should have let you win those fangs. I didn't even think about it. I don't think about anything while running, really. I guess that's why it's so nice. Oh, I wouldn't have wanted to let you... Wanted you to let me win. If I win against you one day, I want it to be fair and square. Fair? Alright, Shoji. That's the kind of spirit I like. Even if you're too nice for your own good. Come here. Ah, is this a hug or an attack? It, is there also a weightlifting club I don't know about? Thank you. Really? Honestly, I didn't even think about stopping for her. It just happened. Like my feet acted on their own. Or some person behind a computer screen just got a choice and he made the choice for me. Instead of me being actually an... Uh, a self-sufficient, independent human being. I'm just a puppet on strings. This entire world is going crazy. I couldn't imagine fin imagine finishing the race without her, or worse, making the team without her on it. Even if she wouldn't have been upset with me, I think I would have been. The track meet was enough excitement for me this week. Miss Rowan read the new track team members' names over the intercom the next morning. Celine and I both made it. Since then, we've been having meetings pretty regularly. Between that and Jim, I'm pretty worn out. I'm glad it's Friday already. Just one more day of classes, and then I can actually rest for a couple of days. And here's Miss Rowan. But... Yeah, that's gonna be it for today. This exchange is gonna be safe for Thursday. So look forward, forward to it. And until next time, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Have a good time. Bye bye.